Hi everyone, this is Marcus, your Asian tennis boy, and today I'll be doing a side-by-side -side review of two strings from Grapple Snake, the M8 and the Game Changer. Big shout out to Brandon Chi who stringed these for me. If you're looking to try out any string or racket, you can speak with him. I've left his contact details in the description down below. So without further ado, let's get right into it. The M8 is an 8-sided poly, which Grapple Snake markets as one of their most durable strings with great tension maintenance, stability, and control. It is described to be both soft and crisp, which sounds like opposites, but if you think about it, polyester is soft, while the shape is octagonal. So you get the launch angle from the softness, and the sharp edges of this 8-sided string helps make deep cuts at the ball. While hitting against the wall, I felt like the strings were quite stiff. I was using a fresh set of strings, but even over a short period of 15 minutes, I noticed that the string was slowly opening up. My previous string of choice was the Hyper G Soft, and I felt that the M8 compared to that had even better control, which I really enjoyed. Overall, I was able to take massive swings at the ball while generating a healthy amount of spin. Comparatively, the Game Changer is a four-sided poly that promises massive spin potential. People say that this string is Grapple Snake's version of the Hyper G, a soft poly that produces comfort and power. And from the color, there's definitely some resemblance with the neon green. Other than that, it plays totally different. I felt a bump in the launch angle and power that I was getting from this string compared to the M8 and I felt like I had to be slightly more cautious and controlled when swinging out which I think can be both a good and a bad thing at the same time depending on your preference. Just from the specs and description of this string, I was thinking that I would enjoy the game changer more but after hitting against the wall, I felt like I liked the M8 much better. But I wonder, how would these fare in a rally against a more formidable opponent? So I managed to get Brandon down and we had a couple of rallies. During the rally, I felt very connected to the M8 because I felt that it played quite similar to my previous string, the Hyper G Soft. Whatever that Hyper G did, I felt that the M8 could do and also offered something a little bit more. More bite, more power and feel. This gave me the confidence to swing out on my shots just like in this rally. One slight downside would be that these strings have a break-in period. Others have shared that it takes about two hours, and from my own experience, after hitting against the wall and after the initial rallies, I really did feel that the string was slowly starting to perform at its optimum potential. And at that point, once the string has broken into, you start to enjoy all of the benefits of the string, whether it's the tension maintenance, the stability, and of course, the control that you get from this string. Switching over to the Game Changer, I noticed a big difference in the launch angle, as a lot of my shots were going deeper into the court. While the M8 rewards you for taking big swings on the ball, the Game Changer is effective in achieving the same result with less effort, which I'd imagine would be good news for those with arm issues. I enjoyed the bite and feel that I got from this string, especially on slices, but I also felt that this string was slightly harder to control even though I was hitting good shots, but I wasn't sure if I was able to replicate it again. So as a result, I could hit a few good balls, but suddenly hit a wayward ball later. This feeling of a lack of control and high launch angle only applied to my ground strokes where I was swinging out. For soft touches, I still experienced great feel, maybe even better compared to Hyper G or the M8 that I played with earlier. So for this playtest, if I were to pick a winner between these two, I think it would be the M8. I felt that the string performance suited my game style, whether I'm on offensive or defensive. I'm still looking to try other grapple snake strings, so join me on this journey to find my ideal string setup. This is Marcus, your Asian tennis boy, signing off.
Oi, nice. 